Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 14. And as you may have noticed, we have made a big faux pas. And it's going to cost us a bit of money. Basically, we have forgotten to, well, not we, I have forgotten to, <laughs> uh, to replenish the compost in the big greenhouse. So, all our plants have died. So, the first thing we can do I was about to go out and see which fields needed to be weeded, but little faux pas has changed my morning routine to start with. Shouldn't be too too much of a problem to um, get it fixed. We'll just put a load of manure in, or not manure, compost, and. Uh, should be up and running again. There's plenty of water and plenty of uh, plant fertilizer or uh, vegetable fertilizer. Yeah, so see how that goes. Shouldn't be too much of a, as I said, shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go, just about done. Yeah, so once we've done that, we'll pop around. I just want to go around to the back of the farm, just make sure that those fields don't need to be weeded. I think the only field, field that needs to be weeded would be the corn field. And that is faux pas number two. I just realized and remembered that I should have, because I'd planted, I had corn in there before, I should have plowed after that. In any event, it's going to cost us a little bit in production, so we're losing money, or we're losing for profitability here, hand over fist today. I mean, this is probably cost us oh, five or six pallets of vegetables, different types of vegetables. There's only two there, three, and there's normally, I think, about oh, six or seven maybe even eight pallets that uh, we collect every morning. In any case, no no point in crying over spilt milk, as they say. All the cliches are coming out. <laughs> in any event, let's just go and drop off this trailer for now. We'll have to use it a bit later again for the rest of the morning work. We'll just drop this off and then go and pick up that um, weeder and we'll go and see what weeding needs to be done. So we won't be without income uh, this month. Uh, we will still have income from noodles, bread, eggs. But it's going to be a little bit less than we would have expected. I reckon we've probably lost about seven or eight thousand euros with this little bit of a problem in case it's fixed now nothing we can do to say about it it has happened i've taken myself into a corner and given myself a really good talking to whether it's going to help only time will tell more than likely not but still <laughs> Yeah, as I uh, suspected, uh, we're just missing the lime. That was a faux pas from the last episode. So we are not without error, let's put it that way. In any event, yep, yeah, let's go past it. Yeah, plenty of, plenty of stuff to do there. Lots of flour, which can go into the mill. Pigs will probably need feeding. Still a little way off making any money out of the pigs besides the saving that we make on the manure. The, yeah, so partially weeded, so that field doesn't need to be done. Well, I think it has already been done in terms of weeding. Just making sure. It's this field here. Get that weeded quickly. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, as you can see, there needs plowing. 
And I should know that. I mean, I've played this game for long enough now. When you, after corn and the root crops, you should plough. So, the problem is I've been playing with precision farming for too long now. We don't have precision farming on here yet. It will, it will come. We will, it'll be part of the growth of the farm that we will change over to precision farming um, once we can afford to buy the equipment of course because that would be part of eco farming is to use as little raw material well to use pre precision farming to uh, use as little diesel as possible and as little fertilizer etc Though I hope it works with uh, manure, we shall find out. Well, I suppose we could fertilize with uh, with a vegetable manure, with a vegetable fertilizer, and uh, um, and a spreader. That would be entirely possible. Not sure though, but we can see. shouldn't take too long lovely misty morning as we look into the distance there yeah, this weeder really does work well perfectly suited to our little Herliman electric vehicle so we cannot complain about that that's for sure Yeah. What's going on here? I think I've just missed the edge of the field. I'm of course uh, doing a voiceover of uh, this at the moment, and I didn't notice that when we, when I was actually doing the, the recording. Another faux pas. Faux pas number three. We are not having a good day. Well, we weren't having a good day when we <laughs> when I made this video. Any event, that shouldn't affect affect us too much. It's only a small sliver. Yeah, I suppose it's one of those things. These little things go wrong in farming. Uh, of course, uh, this being a simulated game, we should be able to be good enough to uh, to not make those mistakes <laughs> any event it's done yeah I think I was mentioning earlier on that uh, we still look quite a ways off from making uh, money from the pigs and we will have to I mean we'll start selling some of the older pigs in the near future once the porkers have uh, become fully adolescent um, I'm not quite sure ex exactly which way I'm going to do it um, I'll have to uh, think about it I haven't done a lot of pigs in farming simulator um, I've always regarded them as a rather bad return product, basically, um, simply because the pig feed is so expensive. And we're seeing that to a certain extent here, that uh, because we're buying in pig feed, it's costing us a lot. It's probably our single biggest um, expense. So we'll have to just keep an eye on it and then um, just have a look at ways of maybe reducing the cost of the pig feed it's going to be a combination of us making f uh, pig feed ourselves I think so we'll have to start working out what type what we need to plant in which fields I think I'll do that over the next couple of episodes 
especially during this quiet period that we're going into now of winter. We should have taken a grass cut off all the other bits and pieces of grass, but we'll have to wait till spring now. Wouldn't be cutting grass at this time of the year. So we'll wait till spring and then we'll take a cut of grass with of any land that we that has grass on it. Meadows. Just do a bit of meadow management. We can uh, make some hay or just sell the grass as it is. I suppose we could make silage. Just an extra step. We'll see how much there is. But that's all for the future. I'm trying to plan ahead a little bit. So that's the weeding done. Now we're going to... Uh, what we, oh, we should... Uh, that's better. Uh, we should be um, hooking up the trailer so that we can go and make our deliveries. Lost my point, or lost my place in the sequence of events. loaded up the just before we go and do our deliveries we'll just do a bit of feeding quickly so we'll feed the chickens then we'll uh, collect the, the pig feed that that we have uh, in the mill at the moment it's probably 3,000 litres and then go and feed the pigs as well Don't know whether this will take a full load going around here today. It was probably not. Um, we were quite lucky, well, quite lucky, quite unlucky last month in that we um, we had to use two loads. So we to well, when I said we had to use two loads, we had to use one load and a bit of a second load. Um, to fill up all the to accommodate the food requirements of the chickens that meant that we had quite a bit of um, wheat left over to put into the into the flour mill I don't think I don't think we're going to have a lot to put into the flour mill today, this month because I think that there will be less than a load So we'll find out now how much we've still got. Ah, so we've still got, we've got 3,300 litres. We'll put it into the mill. That's probably not going to keep it running fully for the whole for the whole month. But I suspect that next month we will be utilising more feeding the chickens and then we'll go into two loads again I think we'll just have a look and see I don't really want to buy another load just yet I know we'll be a bit short on pig feed but um, yeah I'm still trying to work it out while we uh, while we're waiting for our crops to come in the moment it just looks like we can't grow enough well we haven't really grown enough simply because we're just starting out right let's get this loaded up get the flour moved over to the bakery as well once we've done that we can uh, We can get on with feeding the pigs. Oh, nearly fell on our head there. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, so it looks like three, three full pellets, so it's 3,000 litres. Let's just get the rest of the 
the um, the flowers shuffled over to the mall or to the bakery so from the mall to the bakery we're producing a lot of flour at the moment but I think a bakery takes a lot to fill it up And as I mentioned or alluded to a little bit earlier on, it's probably not going to be at full production until the fields come in uh, on the flower side. So we'll just be doing whatever's left over from from feeding the chickens. And it was a pretty small amount today, just only 3,300 litres. But it'll give us some. Hopefully it'll give us at least one pellet of uh, pig food. Pig food is my big concern at the moment. If you haven't noticed from the amount of talking I've been doing about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not sure that that was a good move, but we'll find out once we start selling pigs. And as our herd grows bigger, I think I think we've got lots of uh, piglets running around the place at the moment. But uh, that's not making us any money. <laughs> teething co teething costs, teething problems when you're starting out a new farm from scratch, basically. And with not a huge amount of money, we've always got to make sure that we have enough to cover our bank loans and oh another faux pas faux pas number four I do believe <laughs> in any event hopefully there'll be less in the rest of the video <laughs> oh dear right so that's the pig feet topped up yeah it costs 8,000 so So yeah, just over a thousand uh, euros a ton, or a thousand liters. So yeah, and we're probably still going to have to feed another load during later on during the day. So I think we'll do that after we've uh, after we've got some income back in. <laughs> well, that's the desperate the desperate part is that our income. Is probably only just just covering our operating expenses. So we've got to think about something about increasing production of something. And I have an idea about that, so just stick around towards the end of this video. You'll see. Some might think I'm mad with the solution that I'm going to come up with. It's almost like doubling down on it. But yeah, we do have to risk something now to start incre increasing our, our production income, our income to the farm. We don't have any more access to any more loans. We've kind of exhausted that. So we going into winter now, which is a natural consolidation phase. So we, it's going to be a while before we get see anything from the fields, and, mo and most of that is going to go into into production as well. The crops that we're uh, growing at the moment, all the wheat, it's either going to go into the to the chickens, or it's going to go into the flour mill. Although if, if it goes into the flour mill, at least we're getting some return. Well, we're all getting return because we've got the eggs, of course. Forgot about that. While I was waffling on there, I just uh, nipped up to the to the manure pit just to make sure that it's producing and it does look like it is. 
I'm not even sure that 500 pixels will make us self-sufficient on, manu on manure. So we'll still rely on the manure that comes from the from the chickens as well. Although that does cost us a little bit of money. Um, for the this small processing that needs to be done in it. But um, it is still natural. In any event, that's, that's uh, just part of the running costs. Right, we just get this changed into a pellet loader and go and uh, make some money. Get the money in. That's what we want. Money, money, money. It's a rich man's world. Wonder how that's going to go down with YouTube. Might be a uh, copyright strike there. What do you think? We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> uh, if it is, it would be a uh, a tick against my singing ability. Because the tune may be recognised by the auto scanners. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think it was long enough, sir. So I don't think it's a problem. And we certainly aren't rich men. That's for sure. Well, I waffle. How I waffle in these little interludes. Right, let's get back to work. Let's go and load up these uh, noodles and bread. Then we'll pop around and pick up the eggs. And I have had a look. Uh, best prices in the in our farmers market. The one in the centre of the green. So this will go there, except the noodles. The noodles will go into the farm shop. It's the only place that we can sell them at the moment. Which is not a real problem. Strap these up and we'll nip on round to the to the eggs and pick up the eggs. What have we got there? Two thousand eight hundred liters of noodles and a thousand liters of bread. So the noodle production is quite good. All brings in money. And it's all the good thing is it's all product that needs to be sold straight away, so we don't have to stress ourselves by thinking that we're losing out money by not waiting for the best prices in the year. All the food stuff needs to be sold as soon as it's produced can't be holding the, uh, the town to ransom. We've got two full trays on each on each one. It's not too bad. We've got 17, 1700, 1800 litres of eggs. Can't complain with that really. Strap up and we're about to tell. Yeah, 1700. So off we go. We'll head on down to town and go and replenish our market stalls. Hopefully start making some make some decent money. It's not going to make us rich, let's put it this way, but it's uh, Hopefully we'll go some way to, to covering some of our costs this month. Of course we are going to be substantially short because of the lack of vegetables to go in. Right, we'll see you back down in town. Right, here we are just about at time. In time. Yeah, yeah, we are just about in town, and I did uh, put the uh, highlighter on to make sure that I went to the right farmers market. 
so of course this is a farmer's market and when we deliver the noodles is also a farmer's market so I normally just put the, the marker on just to make sure that I'm delivering to the right place. I do want something to go into our farmers market or to our farm stalls every time just uh, to make it seem like we are supplying them continuously. Right, it's, yeah, it's nearly 5,000 for the noodles every month, so that's not too bad. It was 7,000 for the eggs and the and the bread, so yeah, 12,000, just, must probably just around about 12,000. I was probably missing about another four or five thousand from the so probably around about fifteen to seventeen thousand a, a month income not quite enough to survive but still there still getting there and uh, you know we haven't been going that long let's put it that way right let's get this reconfigured put the sides back on then I think we need to um, we need to go and get some more feed for the pigs. I think might as well put another load in. It's going to cost, but we just said so. That's it. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand six hundred. It's an expensive business. It takes us down to 30,000 in the bank. That's not going to stay there, I can tell you that now. We'll see why soon enough. Right. Antfield is looking okay now, except for that little slow at the end there. We might have to go and see if we can do anything about that later on. Maybe later on today. In won't be in this episode um, or this month should I say uh, we'll see we'll see just get this loaded I just speeded speeded this up there because it's a bit like an old-time comedy <laughs> trying to find the trigger points again <laughs> oh dear it does drive me mad. It's the one thing I don't like about that modular pick system. Otherwise, I think it's good. I think it's a really good, good mod. I might do a mod review of it for my new mod series that I'm doing. If you haven't watched that there, I've got um, the first one is up already. Um, it was to do with the all-in-one underground banker farmhouse repair shop. Here we go. Uh, check it out. Check it out if you want to. Right, so I'm going to be building something in this little area here, down here. And so I just want to flatten off the land a bit. Just before we build it. And we're kind of doubling down on our mistake. Going to put in another greenhouse. So this one's going to be slightly more specialised. That we are going to do only three of the five crops that can be done in there. We're going to do the onions. We're going to do the. Um, what is the other one? We're going to do onions we're going to do lettuce and I think the other one was um, cucumber but we'll see we'll see at the end of this I've just put this on a little bit of a just sped this up slightly so that it um, happens a bit quicker it's still slow enough to Get the gist of what we're doing. Put that in. Now we need to 
replenish it of course so we can put the the front loader forks on just change around the uh, the weights put it on the back put the forks on because we're getting some fertilizer some uh, plant-based fertilizer delivered should be at the top of the farm any should be delivering it any minute now just have to wait for them maybe yep there it's just arrived so we're going to put that into the new greenhouse then we'll have to get some manure some water and we're away won't be too long before we've got enough uh, plant residue or whatever they call it uh, to start making our own compost as well that'd be quite exciting hopefully by springtime we'll be able to be making compost I doubt it will be self-sufficient straight away it might be because it doesn't use a huge amount of compost just I wasn't paying attention to it and that's why when we got so many so many things going on it's always something that slips through the cracks yeah. one main operation this is the problem take too long to offload yeah I don't think it's full when I mean, it well I know it's not full because otherwise we'd have had some left in a pe in a pallet but we haven't I can pick up the trailer and get some compost loaded But dozy drove straight past. I knew it was going. We just said that we're going to go and get compost. <laughs> just about done. What do we need off this water? That's what we need. We'll put ten thousand liters worth of water in there as well. And then we can get producing. Trust the water trailer out, it's not too too far away. Well in fact it's right next door to where we're gonna park, so <laughs> at least that doesn't cost us any money. All it did was cost us the the amount to that it cost to put the windmill up. That wasn't too much of a problem. Just take off the, the the forks just so that we can get the weights onto the front of the tractor because this water trailer taking 10,000 litres is about it's pushing the herd immense capacity <laughs> we feel it every time we try and break the thing well, we, we, we try to slow down by using the brakes, not break, break it and break it in half, break it in slowing it down. <laughs> we get full. That's also create a bit of a problem when reversing it, but it oh, wasn't too bad. Oh, there we go. We'll maneuver it around into. Oh dear. Oy, oy, oy. It's like a seesaw. There we go. <laughs> I 
that shouldn't take too long. And there you go. We can park it up, put it away, and then we'll come back and activate the productions. Parked it up, and here we are, back at the greenhouse. This is greenhouse two. And as I said, we're not going to do everything on this one. We are going to do lettuce, activate that, cucumbers and onions. They're generally the ones that make th the best money. They probably pr produce less, but uh, yeah. Hopefully we should have uh, five or six pallets to collect every day from there. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, as usual, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!